Hey guys, my name is Tom Crandall from Gear Mashers. Today we're doing a tech tip on Final Cut Pro. That's the editing software that I use to do edits on videos. Um, I had a question from someone who said, hey, how do you do those split screen videos that you've uh, showcased before? And so I wanted to walk through the process of how to do it. It's relatively easy. And once you've seen it once, uh, you'll be able to do it as many times as you want. The only thing you're going to need is a copy of Final Cut Pro and then two videos that you want to split screen on, one on one side, one on the other. So that's it. Uh, we're going to jump over here to Final Cut Pro and then I'll walk you through the process. But before we do that, hit the subscribe button because that helps me get products in to review and it also grows my base of subscribers. So anyway, thanks so much and let's get to it. Okay. So I've loaded up Final Cut Pro and I've created a new project. So the first thing you're going to want to do is you're going to want to grab the two videos that you need for your split screen. So I'm just going to go over here to my finder because I'm on a Mac. And I'm going to grab the first one, drag it in. And I'm going to grab the second guy and drag that in. Okay, so now I have the two videos on top of each other. Um, so the next thing you're going to want to do is you're going to go over to your titles and generators and click on that. And you're going to want to select the generator custom, the one that's highlighted. And so I'm going to drag that down in between the two videos and put it at the front and then extend it out to the end. And so with the custom one, what I'm going to do uh, for the bottom video here, I'm going to crop it on the left. So I'm going to go over here to my video cropping tools and I'm going to crop it to the left. And I'm going to set this guy to 940. 940. Okay, so that's set up. And to see what it looks like, I'm going to disable this right now. So that's what it looks like. And I'll probably want to reposition the bike because uh, since it's only taken half the screen and I think I was... I need to move the bike over to the left a little bit. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to grab this video here. You may want to reposition the frame. So now I have it set up here and everything looks good so far. So now I'm going to re-enable the top part here. So I'm going to click on enable. And so now we're seeing this video. This one's hidden right now, but we'll get through that here shortly. So we're going to go back up to the custom generator. And we're going to drag that down and just size it out here to the end. And uh, for the generator, um, what we're going to do is this time, instead of from the left, we're going to do it from the right. So I'm going to crop it from the right. And again, I'll set this to 940. Um, that's close to half. half. And we're going to have to reposition this just like we did on the other one. And I want to reposition this over to the right. So I'm just going to make sure my transform is on. And just slide this guy over to the right. I think that looks pretty good. Maybe right there. I think that looks good. And so now the next thing you're going to do is you're going to highlight both these. And we're going to create what's called a compound clip and hit OK. So now the clip is combined. And so for the last thing, since we can't see what's underneath yet, we have to crop this one more time. So this time we're going to be cropping from the left going to the right. So I click on that and as I move this over, we should start seeing the video underneath show up. Sure enough, we do. And we're good to go. So now, since the videos are the same, the audio is essentially the same, I'm going to extract out one of the audios. So I'm going to detach the audio and I'm going to disable it. And so now, when I play, you're going to be able to see both. And on the right hand side, you can see it's shaky. And on the left, it's a lot more stable. And again, the software I use to stabilize the video was called Real Steady. So anyway, that's how to set up 
a split screen in Final Cut Pro. Hope you like this video. Check out GearMasters.com. I'll have all sorts of videos on product reviews, and I'll probably have some more like informational videos like this in the future. Thanks so much. Have a great day.